everyone. Thank you for watching my channel. There are going to be a lot of opportunities and parties and family outings and what is wrong with trying to look a little glam? So this is a look that I decided to do. This is something that I think will be a lot of fun. Golds are really in. I love golds. So you can just add any gold to any, even cooler tones. You add a little gold to it, it just makes your eyes pop. I didn't do a wing, but I made the appearance of one with the shadows. You can do the dark shadows in the corners. And are you looking at yourself? <laughs> anyway, the whole point is play with your makeup. Just because someone says you can't do it, no, you can't wear shimmers because your eyes are this way. No, you can't wear these colors. No, you can't do a wing. Don't listen to anybody. Try to a tweet. Try to achieve a look. It's going to be a willy wait. <laughs> try to achieve the look you want. Just practice. It's just makeup. If it looks bad, wash it off. Try a different look. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face. And I'm going to go and prime my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin. I've been using this for about a few weeks and so far I'm pretty impressed. It minimizes my pores and the makeup goes on. It has a silicone-y feel to it. And after I have that all over my face, I go in with the Revlon 24-Hour Whipped Foundation in Sand Beige and mix it with a little Body Shop highlighter that I got from a Boxy Charm that really gives a good glow to the face, which we all love a little glow. And we put all of our face and blend it all with a Real Techniques beauty sponge, which I'm in love with. It's a great price and very comparable to the beauty blender that everyone raves about, which I have one of those too, and I love. But this one's cheaper, and mama likes it cheaper, especially if it does pretty much the same thing. So after that, I get my NYX concealer and I highlight different parts of the face. Now this concealer is amazing. It does not crease. You, as long as you set it right after, I mean, there's other ones that I've loved that still creased after a few, it just felt kind of thick. And this one is very thin, but has amazing coverage. So get some, go to Ulta or a drugstore. And you blend it all with your Real Techniques beauty sponge. Then you set it all with a NYX Studio HD Finishing Powder, just to set everything, make sure nothing falls off your face. <laughs> and after that is all set, you are going to work on the eyebrows. We love doing the eyebrows, right? This is a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've been testing that one out. At first I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it has a more natural look. This is in taupe. And I've used other ones where it looks like I, you can tell I have makeup on my eyebrows. And this one is very natural looking and I actually really like it. So after setting it with a brow gel, I'm going into my Naked palette and using the color Naked for the base color of my eyes. And then going into my Coastal Scents palette for a warmer toned brown to go in the crease. And then at the corners using a darker brown and a shimmery brown to give it a more holiday glam look. Blend it in very carefully into the crease. We don't want it too drastic. And then after that, I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and make sure there's no harsh edges. I'm gonna go into my Coastal Scents palettes with no names, but pick a gold shimmery color to go on the eyelid and just pack it in with my flat brush and blend it a little bit when it gets to the darker colors. And I decided to even get a little lighter gold color to go in the middle. And then I just decided in the end, go back in your Naked palette and get half-baked. You cannot beat that golden color. And then blend in the harsh lines again. Then you get a makeup wipe, clean up any mess or fallout, and then you get a NYX Wonder Pencil and line your waterline. Um, that was kind of, a, I have had issues, oh my gosh, I kept covering my eye when I was doing this tutorial, so apologize for that. <laughs> when it, see, this is when I realized it, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? A tutorial that you cannot see, but what I'm doing here is going in with the lighter browns and I'm darkening up um, my lower lash line just to bring the whole look together. And then, of course, I use the Lord & Berry eyeliner, sharpen it, and just add a little more depth to the upper eyelid by adding some of that black liner. And to soften the edges of the pencil, 
I went in with my pencil brush and used the dark brown just to soften the color to make it go along with the rest of the dark gradient. And then I go in with the light shimmer color for my Naked palette and put it on my brow bone. But of course, to clean up a little the make or to fix the makeup that I wiped off with the makeup brush, I added some more of that highlighter. And then I start bronzing. Got some of the Los Cabos from the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer and put it on the special spots that we all bronze our face. And, and then I start blending it all in with the Kabuki brush, which I also got in the BoxyCharm. Can you tell that I love BoxyCharm? I really try to test these products out, and so this is my to review. I really love this. It's great for blending. You can use it for blushes, but I ended up, I use it for just blending all the bronzing powder that I use, blending it all into the face. And speaking of BoxyCharm, here's another one that I love. I just got this in a recent BoxyCharm. It's from the Studio Makeup line, and this color is perfect. It's not too pinky. It's not, why do I say pinky? Anyway, it's not too pink or too dark. It's the perfect color if you'd like to go a little natural. And then I went in with my Naked Pout in the Shimmer and just added a little glow to my face, the honey glow on my cheeks. And of course, in the inner corner of our eye, it just wakes you up quite a bit. And I'm a tired mom of three girls. Got to wake myself up, especially for all these parties coming up. So, of course, we cannot forget Voluminous Mascara. That's one of my favorites, always has been. And then we have Magic Lash, which is a fiber lash. You know how this craze has been going about the fiber lash. You get the longest lashes. Well, I found this before it was a big thing. And you can get it at Sephora or just online. I'll have it linked below. But this has been a really great way to make your lashes look longer without getting extensions. And you can keep adding more and more of those fiber pieces just to make it longer and longer, as long as you wish. This is the length I wanted for this look. But I mean the difference. Look at that. It's, great. it's crazy. So now the lips, right? We're going to work on the lips. Okay, we get some Rimmel Lip Liner and some of this BoxyCharm Liquid Lip Color, which I love. It is the perfect color. And the lip, the liner, it probably wasn't super necessary, but I think it stays, helps it stay on longer, so that's why I did that first. But in the end, this was very moisturizing and it just completed this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Video, video, yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? Hey, yo, yo, yo. I used to be a rapper. Isn't that amazing? Why do I say is that amazing? I always try to make it seem like it's a commercial about vacuum cleaners, but it's just about makeup. Hmm. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to like and yeah, subscribe. Yeah. Click. All right, I'm gonna go do some fun stuff with my girls. Bye. La la la. Thank again, thank and stay tuned to stay tuned while I cover the camera on you, even though I can't see you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Glamour shots. Peace out. Glamour shots. Yeah. <laughs>